Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions T. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP. This is our part 2. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about what are the tools we need in API development as well as we will see that what is the application structure means folder structure of our application. In the first part, we had seen about the complete introduction of our REST API. Now inside this, we are going to discuss about the tools that we need in our REST API development. So basically, we need about the two tools in our local system. First, about the Postman extension or Postman tool. Now here, we have a question. Question is that, what is Postman? So the collaboration platform for API development, Postman is currently one of the most popular tools used in API testing. Postman helps us to be more efficient while working with the APIs. So this is a software or let's say that this should be our extension and when we actually make any APIs to our project folder, so we are going to test about all the running APIs inside this software. So right now, this software is currently one of the most popular tools used in API testing all over the world. So how can we install this software to our local system? So to install this software back to our Google Chrome and just you need to type about the Postman Google Chrome extension. Now you will see about several links by the, by the help of these links actually you can install easily about Postman inside this Google Chrome. So if I open a new tab and go to app section so this is the postman actually before making this video session i have successfully installed by clicking on this first link so after installing this postman as a google chrome extension this is the icon actually you will get inside this app section if you open a new tab like blank tab go to the apps and this is the icon for postman now we will use this tool to test our apis so back to slides now what are the code editor means what basically code editor actually we are going to use inside this video for our code development. So this is depends upon choice. These are the editors basically we can use for the REST API code development. We can use any of the code editor like Atom, NetBeans, Sublime, Notepad++, Eclipse, Visual Code and etc. Now inside these videos means for this playlist I am going to use called the Atom Editor. So this is not only for the editor dependent, you can use any of them. So for this whole playlist of videos only we want about these two, these two tools to be installed to our local system for API development. That's it. And one more thing guys, actually I need to discuss with you that several comment I got inside our first video that please make videos in Hindi. Don't worry at all. Don't think about the language what we are using for the conversation. Just see about the concept what basically we are going to use inside the whole playlist of REST API development. I am using about the every slides to explain each and everything clearly to your mind. In every video, actually I will try to make every slide language independent. So these are the basic things actually I need to discuss with you. Now in the next, we need to cover about the question that what should be the folder structure or application structure we need to develop in our REST API development. So go to this tab. Now inside application folder structure, so let's say that this is our folder structure. Now inside our application structure, we have three folders called config, classes and v1. So what is the meaning of this config folder, classes folder and this is v1 folder. So config folder basically we will make for the database connection. It means inside this folder we will make a file something called database.php and this is a class file. And inside this class file we are going to define our MySQLi connection. By the help of these connections, now we are going to access this file to every class file and every v1 file so that we can make our REST APIs with our database connection. 
after config folder next we have a folder called classes now these classes folder basically contains all the files which is necessary to in our API development let's say that we have a database inside that database actually we are going to perform or we are going to make our rest APIs for a student module so here we have a file called student.php and inside this file this is also a class file and inside this class file we, we will define all the methods which, you, which we will need inside CRUD operation. It means that we are going to create our read method, delete method, update method as well as insert method. Apart from student module, let's say that if we are working on the employee section means we have to make our REST APIs for the employee. So we have to make employee.php inside this classes folder. Inside that file, it should be a class file. Inside that we have some methods as well as a constructor. Inside that file, we will make all the methods for our CRUD operation. So this classes folder is our essential folder for the first API development because this is our functional folder. This is our connection folder. Now what basically this v1 folder means? So inside this v1 folder, we will create about files called create.php, read.php, single student.php, update.php, as well as delete.php. So these are the basic files which we are going to call with our postman extension. These file basically calls about the methods of these classes as well as about the database connectivity. Means these folders will not be open to our means postman extensions we are going to call these files something the route we will make something called http slash project folder slash v1 and slash create.php so now let's get started about the folder structure we are going to make this type of folder structure to our local system so back here so right now this is an empty folder as we can see that rest hyphen api hyphen php now inside that we want a config folder we want a classes folder we want a v1 folder back to config folder now inside this config folder i'm going to create our first file that is database.php this file contains about the database connection details we will make about the class as well as database connectivity methods in our next video now back to our application folder inside these classes let's say that we are going to work with the student module it means that we are going to make all apis with the student so this should be student.php now this file contains also a class and this class contains about the all the CRUD operation that CRUD operation basically insert, update, delete and many more operations. Back to application folder structure. Now go to our v1 and let's say that the file we will create something called create.php. This file is used to create or insert data inside our database. Let's say that single student.php now inside this file basically if we want to read only a single student detail so we will use this file now next i'm going to use let's update dot php this file is used to update any information inside our database table next we have called delete dot php now this is the file actually we will use to delete our data from our database table now finally, I am to create one more file something called list all.php. This file lists all the students what we will create with this file to our database table. So basically guys, we have created three folders called classes, config and v1 and about each folders we have discussed clearly inside this slide. So from the next videos, we will create our database as well as we will start some coding inside our created files. 
So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.